Okay, so here I have a cup that's already made. Um, you can make your cup in any way that you want. You could uh, roll out a slab, a long rectangle, uh, cut a circle, and then what you'll need to do is take a ruler, measure the diameter of the circle. In this case, it's four inches. And you'll remember from math that the um, circumference of the circle is the diameter times pi, which is 3.14. For clay purposes, you can just multiply it by three. So your rectangle would need to be 12 inches long. So about that long if it were to fit around here. Uh, but we've already gone over how to build with slabs, so there's some of your measurements. Uh, if you choose to make your cup using coils, you could have it you know, go in and out. Uh, you could also have it go straight up just by stacking the coils and building it that method. This cup was made on the potter's Next wheel. part is you'd add a handle. Uh, because the face is on this side, you wouldn't want to put a handle here and you don't want to drink out of the handle and so your handle should really, or drink out of the face, your handle should really be on the opposite side of where the face is. And I'll show you how to make one of those right now. This is a, a pretty easy handle to make without too many uh, problems that can occur. So first, you want to just kind of squeeze the clay out to a hot dog shape. This is after it's been wedged and everything. And then you just roll it into a coil, and you want it a little bit smaller than what would be comfortable. Like right now, this is pretty comfortable, so I want it a little bit smaller than this. Now it's a little bit small for my hand, and that's that's good. My hand's a pretty normal size. And now I'm going to take this, I'm going to throw it down. And it creates a nice flat side of the handle. If you're careful, you can throw it down again and get that nice and flat, or you can go over to the sink and pull it so and get it. Here we're flat. at the sink. What we're going to do is I like to fold down the end just so it gives me a little something to grab onto turn the water on. It doesn't need to be going real real fast. I, I get my hand wet. I get the clay wet. And I just very gently grab onto the piece of clay. I just pull it down, switching the sides that my hand's on. And I'm only going to use just this just from here down, so I'm not too worried about those cracks. Make sure you pull straight down. And I keep just making sure my hand's nice and wet so that it'll slide through, uh, slide past the clay. Once you have it the length and shape you want, get a paper towel and just lay it down on top of it. You can see it's, there you go, you can see there it's kind of shiny and wet and if I touch it it's gonna leave fingerprints and I don't want fingerprints on my handle of my mug okay so this handle has had some time to set up and so what I'm gonna do now is cut off that extra piece of clay and then I like to come in and just flatten it a little bit with my finger fatten it up score here and then I'm gonna attach this part down here and so I like to score that too just before I get slip and and where everything's gonna go so I take my cup move that out of the way and I can see that this right here is about straight across from the nose and so I'm just kind of marking where this with my fingernail, where I'm going to score. And so when I pick this up, I know I'm going to score right here for the top of the handle and down here for the bottom. This is a great time to check and make sure it's lined up straight. Sometimes uh, people have the tendency to, to get the handle on there crooked. Whoa. 
and you don't want that. So now both are scored. I'm going to set this down for this part. Support the inside. Push the handle into place. I, I start from the middle, I go one direction, and then I go the other. Bend the handle down. Make sure that's firmly seated. Pick it up. Uh, sometimes I'll get my finger wet and just smooth that out. In this case, I don't know if I will. Get a, a paintbrush, maybe, and clean out, just clean off the extra slip. And you can see that through all this handling, I've really thrown my mug off set off uh, round. And so I take the, a little break and before I'm done and make it nice and round. And there you have a, uh, a face cup with a handle. After it's fired, go ahead and glaze it how you feel most appropriate.